Welcome to MTB Cooking. Today is all about crispy fried chicken in a buttermilk marinade. And we're gonna make this from a whole chicken. So first of all, we're going to cut up the chicken into pieces. And first of all, we remove the backbone of the chicken. And we use these scissors that are actually made for the purpose. These are just amazing. And they can cut the bones of the chicken very thoroughly. We are going to part our chicken. So we'll first of all cut off the thighs of the chicken. We'll cut off the wings as well. And uh, it's important here to say that we leave skin and we leave bones on because that's only gonna add taste to our fried chicken afterwards. It's really amazing how much taste that gives. And here we have two beautiful chicken breasts that we're going to cut from each other. So we'll have smaller pieces and we're actually going to cut these uh, even smaller again into halves so that the pieces will become more suitable for the dish. We do remove some of the bone that is on the breast because it's quite a big one, which we don't want to, to, to keep on there. We salt and we pepper our chicken, again with the skin and the bones. We then put it all into a bowl in which it's going to marinate in. We add fresh garlic that is just lightly crushed and then buttermilk, which is of course the main component of our marinade. So we're going to actually just leave this as it is, marinate in the fridge for around 12 hours. So we cover that nicely with just some aluminum foil. The next day we're going to make our breading for this crispy chicken. So it's all-purpose flour mixed with cayenne pepper, with black pepper, with onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika and salt. So a lot of great taste and flavor is gonna go into the breading. We have taken our chicken out of the fridge and then we're going to take up the chicken and try to get rid of some of the buttermilk before turning the chicken over in the breading. It's important that it's not dripping of buttermilk before you do this. But of course, the marinade will help the breading stick onto the chicken. And we do want quite a thick layer of that breading on our chicken so that we can get a real nice, crispy, crunchy outer on this chicken. Remember that a lot of the taste is going to sit in this breading. So that's why it's so thoroughly spiced. In a pan, on medium to high heat, we're gonna just heat up that neutral tasting oil. In our case, it's a canola oil. It could be any other type of, of neutral tasting oil. And we're going to now fry the chicken for around 20 minutes in total. So yes, that is a long time, but we also really do want to get that crunch going on the outside of the chicken, as well as really cook it thoroughly into the center because it is raw chicken and you want that properly cooked. Turn them over after five minutes or so for the first turnover. It's important that it's of course already gotten crunchy before you turn the chicken. And then you can sort of continuously onwards turn them over once needed. The important thing is to just get them nice and crunchy all over. Aren't they beautifully looking? We can almost smell it through the video, isn't that right? Here's a beautiful chicken thigh and here's a wing. We padded this fried chicken dry with some kitchen towel just because the excess fat is nice to get rid of. We could not wait with taking a little bit of a bite. As you can see, we have beautiful tender white chicken meat in the middle of these crispy fried chicken pieces. I mean, these pictures, they talk for themselves. You can probably imagine how delicious and crunchy that is and spicy not to, to forget. We served it up with a coleslaw made with a vinaigrette. So it had that little bit of a sour uh, side dish, which is really perfect for this more fat dish. And then we served it up with a little bit of mayo and some pickles on the side as well. Thanks for watching MTB Cooking. We're happy to have you with us here. Please give this video a like, comment down below and share it with your friends and family on social media. We hope to see you again very soon in another MTB Cooking video. See you around. Bye.